ISD Tech Center students, I'm Jenny Heath, your principal. Whether you're new to the Tech Center or a returning student, I'm thrilled to have you here this year. We all know that we have many challenges facing us this year. It is a year in which we all need to do our part to stay safe and healthy, and we're counting on you to help us out. I do have one question for you. Who do you inspire to be? Or maybe better yet, who do you want to become? Maybe you have dreams of becoming a CEO, entrepreneur, engineer, teacher, or a mechanic. Maybe you like to create things like websites, videos, graphics, or maybe you're concerned about the well-being of those around you and enter the medical field. No matter who you inspire to be, I hope you are inspired to be a leader. A leader in your field who values hard work, working with others, and taking the time to build relationships with those around you. Your dreams may change as you go through life, and choosing the LISD Tech Center is a great place for you to begin exploring your dreams. I hope each of you have a fun-filled year with learning new skills, earning industry-recognized credentials, earning college credit, and starting to shape the person you inspire to be. Have a great year, and don't hesitate to reach out to me. Welcome. My name is Jake Groth, and I'm the Assistant Principal of Student Services at the LISD Tech Center. It is my honor and privilege to welcome all of you to the Tech Center. Nearly 12 years ago, I was sitting in your exact position, excited to start my career at the Tech Center. I'm a product of the Culinary Arts Program and graduated from Blissfield High School in 2007. From there, I went off to college and earned my associate's degree in hospitality management from Washtenaw Community College, along with my bachelor's degree from Eastern Michigan in hotel and restaurant management. All while going to college during the summer months, I traveled the NASCAR circuit cooking for Skybox Suites, sponsors, and drivers. One day, I received a phone call from my old Tech Center culinary instructor stating he was leaving and would like me to apply for the job. Coming from a family of educators, hence the reason I got into culinary arts, I was hesitant to apply. However, knowing it would be best for my family, I went ahead and applied. From there, I was honored to receive an interview and eventually land the job. I taught the culinary arts program for five years and then had an opportunity to land an administrative position, which I am currently in now. The Tech Center has influenced me so much and I love being able to give back to a program that gave so much to me. Students, treat this year with positive energy. We are all faced with several unique challenges. However, how you approach each day will be impactful. Come to school with a smile on your face behind that mask of yours, a willingness to learn, and a great attitude in this year will be great. While at the Tech Center, start to develop your passion for what drives you getting up each and every day. Many of you are just starting out on searching for your next step, while others are diving right into their career path. While at the Tech Center, understand whatever program choice you made, you will take lifelong skills from that class that you will apply to the rest of your life, whether or not you choose to make it your career or not. Lastly, take your time at the Tech Center seriously, as we provide an educational opportunity that not many students get to experience in their lifetime. You have the opportunity to learn from industry professionals in a state-of-the-art facility and with students from around the county. Capitalize on this once-in-a-lifetime educational opportunity. And now we are going to highlight some important aspects of the student handbook along with the student code of conduct that can be found at the LISD website. Please take a minute and look over each document as there is a lot of information pertaining to the LISD Tech Center and your respective programs. In the current state that our country is in, please also review the additional COVID-19 guidelines that can also be found on the LISD website. First and foremost, you have the privilege of attending the LISD Tech Center. We have high expectations for our students as you made the choice to attend the Tech Center. Respect. Respect the law. Respect the district rules. The student code of conduct. Persons in authority positions including teachers, administrators, security guards, law enforcement, and individuals' physical and personal property, along with the rights and interests of others. We are all entitled to our own set of beliefs and opinions. However, if they do not align to yours, please be respectful. Next, we expect you to take responsibility for your words and your actions. Be open and honest. Please do not lie or make excuses. As the Assistant Principal of Student Services, if you are sent up front and honest with me in difficult situations, the consequences typically fall in your favor. Attendance, one of the most important aspects here at the LISD Tech Center. In order to earn credit for a semester, a student may not exceed seven absences per semester. 
Yes, that is right, seven absences. The achievement status of a student who exceeds seven absences will be at risk due to the following. Total work habits might be reduced to zero for the semester. Or if you have to make up time, we will, you will be required to do so. Now, what is an absence here at the Tech Center? An absence is defined as a personal illness for one to two days. Extended absences beyond two consecutive days. A serious illness or an emergency in your immediate family. A funeral. Possibly a professional appointment including a doctor, orthodontist, dentist, um, court, or prearranged absences. Understanding that we all have uh, things come up in our lives, you are given seven absences uh, to handle those matters. If you do go beyond that, your loss of credit will be in jeopardy. Prearranged absences include hunting, family vacations, religious instruction, or obligations and college visits. You are allowed one prearranged absence per year, resulting in a blocked absence of five days. Students, parent, guardian is required to excuse an absence, either by note or phone call before the students return to class. The attendance office phone number is in operation 24 hours a day. That number is 517-265-1659. Please state the student's name, program, session, and reason for the absence. All absences must be reported to the LISD Tech Center. Your parent or guardian must call both your home school and the tech center to report an absence. Now understand during these difficult times with the COVID-19 crisis, we will handle extenuating circumstances on an individual basis. Participation in local district related activities, student organizations, band, chorus, sports will not count toward the seven day absences. Students are not permitted to leave the LISD Tech Center property after they have arrived without permission of the parent or guardian. Students enter class late will be sent to the instructor to student services for a tardy pass. If a student is late three times, that will result in one absence. Signing out to leave early is done only with the permission of the instructor, assistant principal, and or parent or guardian. Signing out with an acceptable approved reason can result in being charged with an absence. Attendance tips. Know your scheduled arrival time. Get to class. Stay in class. Know your scheduled departure time. Every moment matters. And now for student driving and transportation. Each local district provides bus transportation to and from the LISD Tech Center. Students are expected to follow their local district's policies concerning transportation to and from the Tech Center. In order to ensure a safe environment in the student and staff parking area, there will be a security person monitoring the lot. Students are expected to identify themselves and respond to the security person's directions and requests. For student parking lot regulations, you must fill out a vehicle registration form with parent, guardian, and local high school principal signature. You will then return that to either your program instructor or student services. From there, we will issue you a driving permit. That permit is zero cost to you for the 2020-2021 school year. The driving permit is issued only to the student indicated on the permit application. Other students shall not be transported in the same vehicle unless you have permission forms filled out for both students. That per rider permission form can be found in student services. Students are not permitted to ride on the hoods, fenders, or roofs of vehicles, or in the back of pickup trucks. 10 miles an hour maximum in the parking lot. Entry and exit into the parking lot is to be made only at the South Drive. Use of the bus entrance or exit one-way drive and the Jackson College parking lot and drive is prohibited by LISD Tech Center students. Any act or acts that can bring about unsafe conditions or cause a disruption in the parking lot are prohibited. Any violation of these rules will result in loss of the driving slash passenger permit. Cell phones and electronics, big topic here. Prohibited from using any electronic communication device or cell phone during instructional hours. Instructional hours are defined as 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. for the a.m. session and 12 to 2.30 p.m. for the p.m. session. Devices shall not be used or be visible during instructional hours unless permission has been granted by a teacher or school administrator. Students may use devices before or after instructional hours in the common areas including the lobbies, hallways, and sitting areas and outside. For cell phones, if cell phones are in use during class, 
For the first offense, the device will be taken to the office where a student can pick it up at the end of the session. We will notify your parents. After the second offense, the device will be taken to the office and a parent must pick it up at the end of the day. On your third offense, you will receive a one day out of school suspension. In fourth offense, three day out of school suspension for each occurrence. Please note that refusing to turn over an electronic communication device or cell phone when asked by a staff member will be considered insubordination and will result in a level two offense per the student code of conduct. Students who connect to the LISD's wireless internet network from their personal electronic device must abide by the LISD's technology code of conduct and acceptable use policy. Students have no expectation of privacy while using the LISD's network. What can and can't you bring to the LISD Tech Center? Items that are not allowed would include vaping, including the devices and e-liquids, tobacco, cigarettes, chewing tobacco, alcohol, drugs, weapons, or outside food and beverage. The only item that is permitted is a water bottle. The LISD Tech Center dress code. Students must follow their local school district's policies for dress. However, it needs to be emphasized student dress and appearance in the various instructional programs should be appropriate for future employment. Certain programs at the LISD Tech Center require students to wear protective clothing, which may include but is not limited to safety glasses, lap coats, and work boots. Refusal to comply with the standards of dress is subject to disciplinary action as described in the Student Code of Conduct. Shirts and shoes must be worn at all times. Halter tops are not permitted. All shirts and tops must have sleeves, and bare midriffs are prohibited. All short skirts and dresses must be at least fingertip length. Holes in jeans or pants must be below fingertip length. All undergarments, including leggings, must be covered by another garment at least the fingertip length. Sleepwear, such as slippers and pajamas, are not permitted. This includes during spirit weeks. Hats, hoods, and bandanas are also not permitted in the common areas. Coats, jackets are not to be worn during class time. Chains hanging outside clothing present a potential safety hazard and are prohibited. Any student whose dress is inappropriate or considered too revealing will be required to change into appropriate dress. Any student whose fashion, dress, or accessory which displays profanity is discriminatory in nature or portrays an inappropriate message is prohibited. This includes but is not limited to shirts, jackets, hats, and jewelry. Safety glasses, hard hats, lab coats, lockers. Some programs require the use of safety glasses, hard hats, coveralls, and lab coats. The LISD Tech Center is responsible for furnishing these items. Failure to wear safety glasses, hard hats, or other safety equipment provided for student protection will result in disciplinary action. Tips for dress code. Dress for success and future employment. Follow program specific guidelines. Your safety is most important to us. Sexual harassment. The LISD Tech Center acknowledges and supports the right of all students to be free from sexual harassment. Students engaged in any type of harassment will be subject to disciplinary measures as described in the Student Code of Conduct. Students are strongly encouraged to report any harassment, including any observed sexual harassment of another person to the instructors or to school administration. Please report any sexual harassment immediately. Bullying. Bullying or other aggressive behaviors toward a student, whether by other students, staff, or third parties, including board members, parents, guests, contractors, vendors, and volunteers, is strictly prohibited. This prohibition includes written, physical, verbal, and psychological abuse, including hazing, gestures, comments, threats, or actions to a student which cause or threaten to cause bodily harm, reasonable fear for personal safety, or personal degradation. Please report any bullying immediately. Lastly, if you have any questions, please refer to the Student Handbook and Student Code of Conduct first. Then, if you still have that same question, please come see me in Student Services and I will be happy to assist you. Here at the LISD Tech Center, the safety of students, staff members, and stakeholders is our number one priority. In an effort to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, the Lenaway Intermediate School District has developed protocols with input from the local health department and in accordance with CDC guidelines. The first protocol I would like to highlight is face coverings. 
Students and staff should provide their own cloth or disposable face mask each and every day. If you are unable to provide your own face mask or forget to bring it, the LISD Tech Center will provide you with a disposable face mask. Please ask your program instructor, secretary, administrator, or any staff member. All persons who are medically able must wear a face mask covering your mouth and nose at all times, while on the school bus, any LISD vehicle, and while present in common areas of the building which include hallways, restrooms, offices, and meeting rooms. All staff and students who are medically able must wear a face mask covering their mouth and nose at all times while in a classroom or laboratory. Individuals who are unable to wear a face mask for medical reasons must provide the LISD with written documentation from a health care provider qualified to make such a determination describing the medical reason and why it prevents the individual from wearing a face mask. Students will be required to wear their face mask outdoors unless the student can adhere to social distancing guidelines, which is defined as being at least six feet away from another person. For example, if you exit the LISD Tech Center by yourself and there are no other individuals within six feet of you, you are permitted to remove your mask. If you ex exit the building and you have four friends walking in close proximity to each other, then you must keep your face mask on. The next protocol we will be highlighting is social distancing. The LISD will be requiring physical and social distancing to the maximum extent feasible under the circumstances at all times. Physical social distancing is defined as being at least six feet away from another person. Students and or staff who intentionally and continually refuse to exercise physical social distancing will be subject to disciplinary action. The next topic is personal hygiene. All persons will be required to apply hand sanitizer when entering the LISD Tech Center. Touchless hand sanitizer stations have been set up at every entrance and exit within the LISD Tech Center. Hand sanitizer will be located throughout the program classrooms as well. Please sanitize hands frequently to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. The next topic is daily screening. At the discretion of the Lenoy County Health Department, the LISD is requiring that your parent or guardian or you as a student will conduct a daily screening that consists of the following. You must take your temperature each day. If your temperature is 100.4 degrees or greater, then you must remain at home. You must screen yourself for symptoms of COVID-19. Symptoms may include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea, or vomiting and diarrhea. A determination must be made if you have been in close contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Close contact is defined as being within six feet of a COVID-19 positive individual for a period of 15 minutes or more, but could also include engaging in intimate contact and or sharing of eating, drinking utensils, cups, etc. And the last screening question is, if you have engaged in international travel within the past 14 days, if you have answered yes to any one of the screening questions, you must remain at home and your parent or guardian should call the school to let them know why you are absent. If you are symptomatic, your parent or guardian should also call your healthcare provider immediately to determine if testing is needed. Remember to wear face coverings at all times, wash and or sanitize your hands frequently, answer daily screening questions honestly, and adhere to social distancing guidelines. Please do your part in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Hello, I'm Sue Ritchie, the LISD Tech Center Counselor. Welcome to the Tech Center. I congratulate you on making the great decision to attend the Tech Center program. You'll be taught by leaders in their professions who will give you experiences you will not find anywhere else. The Tech Center staff will be preparing you for future employability and professional training. Take advantage of these opportunities as much as possible. This is the only time in your lives that you'll be able to earn free education, free training, free college credits, free credentials, and free certifications, as well as many hours of free experiences in your career field. As your LISD Tech Center Counselor, I can assist you in many different ways. I can help you with career counseling and give you more information about career opportunities, especially those that are in high demand. I can assist you with your college, trade school, search, and connect you with military recruiters if you have interest. 
I can help you dual enroll through college now and earn college credits while still in high school at no cost to you. I'm available to assist students with personal or social issues, so if you need someone to talk to or you're having a tough day, please sign up to see me. If you have health concerns or academic issues that you need assistance with, I am happy to chat with you about your needs and act as a support to you. Hi, my name is Megan Paul and I'm the Special Populations Coordinator here at the Tech Center. I work with an amazing team of learning assistants and Leslie Taylor, our Special Populations Consultant, all who make up the Learning Support Services Office. We provide academic, behavioral, and social-emotional strategies and interventions to help students be successful in their tax center programs. Our office also provides services for students who utilize IEPs and 504 plans. Students who have unique living arrangements and may not be living with a parent or a guardian, along with students who are pregnant or parenting, part of the LGBTQ community, English language learners, or have parents in the armed services or in active duty. We also support students who are in non-traditional career fields. This means a female student in auto services or a male student in nursing prep. We also have a full-time social worker, all of us which are located in the Student Services Office. We look forward to meeting you and supporting you as you work toward your learning and career goals. Good morning or afternoon, I'm Mrs. Bradshaw. I'm the Work-Based Learning Coordinator here at the Tech Center. I'm glad that you came and are taking part of one of our classes. Um, after a while, when you've gotten enough instruction in, at least eight of your segments, and your instructor can let you know what that is, you'll be eligible to go out on co-op. Um, so this is a position working and putting your skills to use and earning money and earning high school credit at the same time. It's an awesome experience, and um, if that experience comes up for you, um, check in with your instructor and they can email me to send you to me and that'll be great. I'd love to meet with you. Hi, I'm Kim Dusso, LISD Career Preparation Services Coordinator and Principal of the JC LISD Academy. The LISD Career Preparation Services Department helps provide students with real-world experiences to link career options and educational decisions, as well as guidance in planning and preparing for post-secondary education and careers. This includes 8th grade tours, sophomore visits, LISD Tech Center student leadership opportunities, payback for education, and many more. Hi, I'm Katie Cole, LISD Career Preparation Services Coordinator. The LISD Career Preparation Services are here to support you in your college and career exploration through assistance with job applications, resume creation, and interview preparation, as well as guidance in college research. Please come see us in Student Services. My name is Ben Murray, Assistant Principal for Curriculum and Instruction. I would like to welcome all of you to the Tech Center. My primary job is to work with teachers to provide meaningful instruction in your classroom. Our Tech Center teachers are unique as they not only possess the skills to teach, they also have spent years in their respective industries to develop the practical skills and knowledge that they are now able to share with you. Learn from their experience and grow as you progress through your Tech Center program. We have a dedicated staff here that focuses on preparing students for the next step, whatever that may be. Some of you will be immediately entering the workforce or the military. Some of you may be enrolling in trade schools or colleges to further prepare for your career. You will all take different paths to get where you are going, and our staff is prepared to help provide the resources and experiences necessary to become successful in the present and near future. Along the way, we ask that you display the workplace skills that we call trades, teamwork, responsibility, attitude, dependability, effort, and safety. We are proud of the work that we do here, but we are proudest of the students who go on to pursue their passions and find successes later in life. My biggest advice this year is to make connections. Make connections with your classmates who come from all across Lenawee County. Make connections with the support staff that can help you find employment, apply for scholarships, or work on the soft skills that are critical for your future success. Make connections with your teachers and the, their assistants that come to you with wisdom and experience. 
Most importantly, make connections within your learning. Look to see how you finally apply all of the skills and knowledge you have learned throughout your education in order to prepare you for whatever is next for you. I look forward to watching you learn from us as we learn from you. Thank you for choosing to come here and share with us all of your talents and experiences. Thank you for being here at the Tech Center.